Hi, right. uh, a bit of a different agenda today. Um, I've started a new series, as you've probably read, um, called Is Your Garden Making You Sick? And I want to go over a few um, things that I've been finding out about stuff that's going into our gardens and into the environment. The first one I'm going to start off with is treated pine. Now, this all started because when I did the raised garden beds videos, which I've since removed, I might add, um, I was talking about red red gum and pine and treated pine and all that kind of stuff. Now, just for the record, the treated pine I was using on the day wasn't the um, CCA treated pine, it was the safe treated pine. But I did mention about normal treated pine, I was under the impression that it was okay to use and all that kind of stuff. Um, and someone sent me, posted a few comments saying that it wasn't and they said a few other things as well. Um, and that kind of, initially it just like, kind of annoyed me and pissed me off a bit, but then I thought, well, you know, that's just my ego, so maybe I should investigate what's going on, this person's got something to say, etc. So I started doing my research, and I must say that my findings have been uh, fairly alarming. Now the CCA, which stands for Copper Chrome Arsenate, and the arsenate, yes, that's arsenic, that the treated pine sleepers are treated with, is uh, toxic. It's no good. So it's no good for us, it's no good for the environment. And the more I found out, the more alarmed I've become with the whole thing now. Treated pine, I've done my research. What they do with treated pine, it's essentially two ingredients that go into treated pine. Now, most manufacturers predominantly use radiator pine, which is a nice strong pine tree, nice wood. They kiln dry it initially or dry it out. It goes into a big vacuum, the air is taken out the chemicals are pumped in and that's what gives it that absorption rate and takes on all that chemical. Now the chemical works A is a fungicide, no um, fungus and moulds, things like that don't grow on it and second insecticide, so insects, particu particularly uh, termites um, stop from eating it and etc etc. Now I'd always, always been told that treated pine was okay, it had a certain toxicity level but it wasn't so bad what have you. So I was completely ignorant. I'll admit that right now. I had no idea how bad it was. So I've been doing some research. Um, now I could ramble on for ages, but I'll just try and keep it quick. So treated pine, the CCA, is stands for copper chrome arsenate and is toxic and you shouldn't use it. What happens with it, the arsenic that's in it is actually stays in there for years and years. So if you're using it for vegetable gardens or for around trees, fruit trees, stuff like that, that toxigen that's in it will actually leach out into the soil for years and years. So I don't think that's a good thing. Now, as far as it being a carcinogen and stuff like that, I've been doing a bit of research, looking around, and I've got a few things. This is uh, a quote from the WHO, or the World Health Organization and also from the US EPA and it states, I'll state it verbatim, arsenic is a known carcinogen and is acutely toxic. It can cause various cancers including lung, bladder and skin cancer as well as non-cancer damage including reproductive and neurological damage. Now, really, it, it, is it, is, it a, is that a good thing? Like, obviously it's not, so why are we still manufacturing it and using it? I, I really think the government and local council need to step up to the plate and phase this thing out because it's just no good for people in the environment to be using so Like, there's no long-term studies on whether it causes cancer or anything like that as far as I'm aware. But for years there was no long-term studies on tobacco or um, asbestos or anything like that and we know that they cause cancer now. So there's tons and tons of this stuff being manufactured every year and it's going out into our environment. Most countries, or a lot of countries I probably should say, have actually banned it. They don't even use CCA, they won't use it in the country, it's banned. But Australia, New Zealand and America per capita are the biggest consumers of treated pine in the world. So there's tons of this stuff going out into, the, into society and into our environment every day. And there's safe alternatives. The alternative use um, is what now the CCA is for the copper chrome arsenate. The new sleepers are treated with what's called ACQ. And that's a lot of people have said that it's readily available, but I have to admit, I've been out and about the last couple of weeks trying to get some info about it. 
I had to go to about 12 different places before I found someone that actually stopped the safe version. All the other ones stopped the CCA treated ones. I just couldn't get it anywhere and it cost nearly double the price. Um, initially a lot of people said to me, oh yeah you can get it, it's cheap now, all that kind of stuff. I don't know where you're shopping but uh, anywhere, most places in Melbourne don't stock it. I had to go to specialised places to actually find it. The treated pine stuff I could get everywhere but the safe stuff I just couldn't find. Now, the other thing I did too was a bit of a survey and I kind of asked around a few places. I asked probably about 25, 30 people and about three quarters more, probably about five, six of the people, about 25 of them, when I, this is in um, yards and um, hardware stores, stuff like that. When I'd asked them about using treated pine for vegetable gardens, told me it was okay. Now, I was ignorant before. I hope I have eliminated a bit of that ignorance now, but for the everyday person who's not a gardener or anything like that and just thinks, oh, I'll just knock up a vegetable garden for the kids or whatever, and someone says, oh, yeah, treated pine's okay, they're going to use it, aren't they? This stuff leaches out into the ground for years. So the WHO is categorised as a known carcinogen. So, look, I'm not trying to get up here on my soapbox or anything, but I'm just trying to raise some awareness about it. I just don't think it's very good. Like, we're all quite aware of... Um, greenhouse gases and emissions and all that kind of stuff but there's kind of pretty much no info out there in the mainstream about CCA and treated pine sleepers and there's a safe alternative and I understand that people who, that manufacture it are running a business and you know it's a, it's a business, it's your life lifeblood at the end of the day and I'm not saying you should stop treating you know having treated pine right now and just close down or whatever, but I think that we can in, in instigate some kind of phasing out period, like even if it's a few years, you know, and just decrease the amount that we're actually manufacturing until we're not manufacturing it at all. I think it's a safe alternative, like, the, re the, the whole thing that, like in Victoria a few years ago, they actually took all the treated pine out of kids' playgrounds, because it was in kids' playgrounds and stuff like that, they stopped using it, which is a good thing. But the fact that they acknowledge that they shouldn't be using it for kids' playgrounds, like, doesn't that tell you that maybe we shouldn't be using it altogether? So, I don't know, like, I, I was completely ignorant about it and probably still am to a degree. I'm only just learning all this stuff now. Um, the more I investigate, the more I find. I've even been to a few um, food producers as such, and I've seen treated pine used as um, on trees, and holding up things and all that kind of stuff in the actual produce sections. So I've only been to a few and I've found it a few times. So how many of them out there are actually, I don't think there's any legislation that dictate that they should say if it's been used in or around produce places or anything like that, like the manufacture of food. So if you're organic, you, they'll come out and they give you organic status, you know, they have treated pine, a whole lot plethora of other things. But surely we should be kind of, you know, checking these things out, you know, like, it's recognised as a carcinogen, I don't see how we can keep using it, like, I really think that we need to kind of phase it out. The fact that it's used in a lot of fencing, plinth boards and all that kind of stuff too is alarming because I found out, uh, this is an overseas study, but a study found out that two of five backyards, when the soil was tested, had enough arsenic to qualify it as a hazardous site. You know, like, that's... Two out of five would be shut down from the soil, arsenic in the soil content. So, you know, if you've got any info or anything like that, give me a yell because I'm just finding out about all this stuff. I had no idea how toxic it was. I've been told for years that it was all right. And now I'm a bit peed off, to be honest, because um, it's not all right. So if you have any info or anything like that, give me a yell because I'd love to find out more. Or if I'm uh, right or wrong about anything, let me know, please, because, you know, I want to know. I want to kind of raise my awareness about it. But it's out there, and just be aware when you use it because uh, it's no good for you, man. All right. I'll see you soon.